Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Durahim. We are back again with another great, amazing graphics design video. It's been a while. We didn't catch up throughout graphics design, but today I'm here to share with you guys what's goody. As I said, I'll be sharing with you guys what's happening throughout graphics designing. Not that much quicker, not that much deeper, but I'll share with you guys what's happening throughout the weekly or two weeks after two weeks and stuff like that. Because we've been catching up with tech, so yeah but i didn't forget you guys throughout graphics design so i'm here today to share with you guys what's going on it's all about the logo pattern or the logo brand identity so yeah so let's just jump in on the machine here so as we can get started okay guys here we have it we are inside behance profile this is my behance profile so i'll share with you guys what's going on and what's happening in here now first thing first as you can see guys we are having the latest greatest amazing work i did it's called the optical um glasses now throughout optical glasses this kind of company i just named it i came up with the concept so as i can make it happen throughout this kind of design it doesn't deal or have any kind of company ideal name but i just draw it i sketched it up i decided to do um brand identity throughout it and to see what's going on so you can see here i presented very capturely the logo here in the presence way and when you slide down you can see there's a white um one here which is really good and when you scroll more down something which is so great it's all about the mockups how i arranged them to give you some aesthetic or to give you some greatness throughout looking and get captured throughout what you see throughout the layout which is really kind of impressive okay guys the main point or the main thing about this kind of video today it's all about the local pattern i decided to showcase or share with you guys the concept so as you can be aware what's going on now as you can see here close how much the logo i have arranged it and to give you that kind of perspective throughout how much it's going to be presented throughout your kind of workflow i i don't need it you to just make the same as i did but to get a clear concept what you're gonna present throughout your logo design so you have your logo like uh, i'll give an example i made this kind of logo new generation cycling club so um to present it throughout patterns and to give people what's going on you really need to arrange your workflow into kind of greatness so as people they can see what's happening now i'm gonna share with you guys the full process so as you can see what's going on so as to get a perspective what's happen i keep on saying that so um highlight your logo and copy it let's go directly throughout photoshop now on your photoshop i want you guys to do one thing go directly throughout a4 or a3 it depends with your choice but we're going to use only landscape so i'm going to click on create and there we have it this is our landscape here so we're going to get started throughout um implementing the logo now control plus v drop your logo here you good and just drag it gently so i'm gonna show you guys different type of patterns we're gonna use it first of all is the straightaway line pattern what do i mean that you see my logo here i'm gonna duplicate it again by just shift and alt and drop it down or you can just do this way control plus j and drag it down if it's your thing but if you want multiple control plus j again you get multiple logos and if you want all of them but we just need to here control plus j and you are done with the spacing which is really good copy all of them control plus j again and make it them go this way which is really kind of great thing after that select all of them again control plus j and bring them somewhere here and control plus j and bring them somewhere here which it's really kind of great now this is like fast move creating patterns as much as you want now you can make smaller patterns and bigger ones so you're going to use the same same ones and you can see here we have made the smaller ones and we're gonna duplicate it again and bring it somewhere here and you can see they go out of the way now we have to just select them and delete these ones and make sure that you align your patterns straightly just like that and we're gonna take the row of three here so as you don't want to take the whole all of it to to just have a good perspective throughout our design so control plus j here 
and drop it down as you can see here which is really kind of good now we are done making those kind of smaller patterns and you can play around with it you can just like group them all of them and create the name patterns which is good now after you're done with naming patterns you can change the opacity as much as you want as you can see there and you can copy again your logo and you're gonna present it this way which is really good select patterns and make sure that you enlarge your logo at least to just be vivid on the layout which is really good do not leave some white spacing it's just like my perspective you can just get into designing depending on you what you want throughout your flavor which is really kind of good thing so as you can see there we presented our logo in a really kind of great way and it's really kind of awesome just having that kind of perspective throughout our logo here it gives it more feel more goodness now this is the first i can say uh patterns adjustment now you're gonna have roughly uh patterns which they're gonna go in each kind of perspective like how i showed you on optical you can see how much i just kept them scattered which it's really good you can change any perspective you want if you want your patterns to be vertically to be horizontally to be any design you want you can just get creative i promise you guys we're gonna do it so i'm gonna just hide this hide this then we're gonna bring our logo back here and bring it somewhere here and i'm gonna keep my logo here now control plus you, you just don't need to do any mathematics ruler guys and no 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 don't do that you just go crazy about it just um drag your logo down and bring it a bit closer to there you see there's lines here giving you lines this kind of grid you can hide them if you don't want them by pressing ctrl plus h and you can allow them to be back by pressing ctrl plus h which it's really kind of good so i'm gonna copy this one here again up to here when i have all of them three i'm good then i'm gonna readjust them up to somewhere here again which is awesome i'm gonna copy them again and repositioning them here which is good now the only thing which remain is you to duplicate all of them here just to drag them and bring them somewhere here which is good you can see it gives you a good and amazing perspective throughout the design looking now it's your time to just uh positioning things bring this one on top bring this one somewhere here and bring this one somewhere here just just roughly and you can duplicate this one here to stay here okay we are done with our arrangement now i'm gonna just like uh create a group and i'm gonna name it my patterns two and hit enter now i want you guys to see the difference here you can see i'm just gonna allow my logo it gives it different perspective to be honest really good perspective throughout looking throughout the way it presents itself it's really kind of awesome so you can have different variety of how much you want your logo to be as you can see guys and as you can see here which is really kind of legitimate stuff now you might be asking yourself what if i have a black background yes sure indeed you can change your colors to black just like this way and you can see how much your logo sparks now you can play around throughout um different um kind of um adjustment here but i, I would recommend just use normal and just readjust it up to there you can see here but the only thing now my logo does not match with the color so i just have to adjust it so i just have to take um the white one i mean this one here just drag it copy it it's not drag it but copy it, and paste it on your layout which it's really kind of great thing you can see here gives you more feel more grayness throughout your logo design which it's really kind of impressive so guys that's what's up i hope you enjoyed on this kind of tutorial of today to share with you to to, to showcase you what's happening throughout your logo alignment of patterns or your brand identity you can check out on my behind some workflow to give you some inspiration to know how much you're gonna uh, hinder here and there so as you can understand what's happening and that's what's up so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed on this kind of tutorial of today it's been a while forgive me guys to be honest it's, it's been a while for graphics design i'll try my best at least in a week i throw one tutorial so some of you guys can enjoy that but if you're new on this channel you know we have done vlogs we have done tech and we are continue doing the same thing which is really kind of great thing and we are pushing the graphics design to and podcast throughout my spotify uh, account i'll leave a link down below or you can check out throughout anchor 
and soon soon i'm going to present some workflows for you so as you can just check it out and stay tuned i'm scripting out something throughout a certain movie it's going to be really good and i'm going to share with you guys who are the directors before we shoot the movie and i'm going to share with you guys the cast and i'll share with you guys the youtube channel whereby we'll be presenting the workflow each pick by each pick which is going to be really good thing so that's what's up guys i'll be catching you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative kudos guys and peace